horse. I can't but believe how bad they are. Yo, <laughs> what's up everybody and welcome to a video. Today, very, very excited. We're in the M3. I'm joined by my mate Tom Peck. What we are doing, we've been up since very early this morning, which is very uncomfortable for me because that doesn't happen too often. Gracious that Starbucks is back open. So we're off to a Volvo Automotive today. I'm obviously in my M3, so you're probably questioning me going, why are you off to a Volvo Motorsport in your, uh, your wonderful, fantastic best car ever? You're going to strip it out and make it a rust car. <laughs> Get a roll cage put in. It's super <laughs> No, so we are, it's just going to be, it's a big, big job that needed to be done. Uh, the guys are kindly opening late for me as well tonight to get this thing done. Sorry, we just have to join the dual carriageway in the only way I know how, aggressively. Basically, we've got a big job going on today on the car. I thought I'd bring you guys along, show you what they're up to. The crux of the matter is we'll get the rod bearings done and a remap of the engine and the gearbox. Very excited, first fucking major job on the M3 since I've owned it. The only other mod the car's got on it is the back box. So, yeah, let's head up to Evolve and, uh, whoa, that box of Adam's a wild one. Should we try and push it to do naughty shit? Yeah, let's head up to Evolve, see the guys up there, meet them for the first time, because uh, I've never met most of the guys up at Evolve, so very much looking forward to that. And, yeah, let's have a good time, let's go. So we are down at Evolve now. I am very excited. We've been here a little while just meeting the guys. My car is already on the ramp, as you can see, getting the stage two remap done and also the cat delete. Uh, it's also gonna be having the rod bearings done, which we're gonna show you the whole process in this video. But Evolve, oh man, companies like this, I'm just so grateful that they exist. They're run by car reviews, yes. They know what they know what car guys want. I'm very excited. They're also allowing me access to their come around here you'll see there is a Toyota Supra in there that they are currently developing parts for and they said they're just going to chuck me the keys later so there's going to be a whole video on the Toyota Supra but Evolve Automotive I'm very excited to be here I'm very happy to be here just looking through some of your cars insane we'll show you around very shortly let's go car is now on the ramp we've got the exhaust off down here so what is happening is they are doing the, the cat delete so primary cat delete the new bits will slip over, they will disappear, and then it's going for a stage two remap, which, what sort of, what sort of power will we be getting uh, from so it? So the primary cat delete and the stage two map make around 35 to 40 horsepower. Cool. Uh, and around 30 foot pound of torque. That torque is right from the beginning of the rev range. Nice. Yeah, so those cats basically have about one bar of pressure built up. Okay. So that's why you get so much power when you that's take awesome. them out. Yeah. That's so awesome. it's so close to the manifold. Yeah, it's sick. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear it. I mean, I already love the sound of this thing. With yeah, the, I just don't want it. Yeah, yeah. Really exciting to see. Really exciting to see. Let's not look underneath it in case it's a shed. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high. Floating somewhere up in the clouds. Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on Okay, so, the first car we're gonna have a little look at, right? And I know we, we love our old Japanese stuff but We're allowed to appreciate the new stuff too This is now the RS3 saloon Just come over and have a little look at it See there's quite a big hole in the engine bay Cause they're waiting for a new upgraded turbo kit That's gonna take this thing to 800 horsepower <laughs> These things are mind blowing, bro. 800 horsepower, and they, they are. So, Evolve also make eventually intake. They're all made in house, and hopefully, we'll be able to show you some of that process as well. I Come and have a look at the car. Finish on this, this, is a, this is dirty as well. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, so they're so good. I want to get one of these made for my M3. Once Imran is back, he's going out to program a car. Once he's back, we'll see if he'll give us a little tour of the place and talk us through some of the cars in, in a better, better spec. We're gonna be here a long time today, so we're gonna make ourselves comfortable. Um, and as soon as they have start stripping my engine down, we're gonna get over there and do some video too. This is the A35 as well. If you haven't ever seen anything on A35, I'm gonna link a video right up in the corner. You can go click right now. Me driving one, cheers. That video got fuck all views, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the guys here, Ash and Ashton. Thank you very much for being in the video, guys. You're gonna be able to explain this way better than I ever would be able to. So, dropping like the subframe and stuff to be able to get access to the engine. Yeah, so, because the 
on these on this uh, on the Unite 2 model or the S65 model, the um, sump sits around the subframe. So you've got like a lower part here and a lower part here. So the only way to get that off is to take the subframe down. Uh -huh. Some people remove it completely. Um, we don't, we just hang it down because you've got enough room to get in there. Yeah, yeah, cool. So once you've done that, you just take off like the, um, the belt, the bracket, tensioner, all the bolts around the pan. And then I see you put them all neatly uh, over yeah, there. All it's all really, there, so we know where they come from. yeah, really cool. And then yeah, you drop the pan down, which we're going to do in a minute. Once you've done that, you've got two oil pickup lines that run for the pump. Take the oil lines out and then you can get to the, to the rod mount. Yeah, cool. And this is quite an essential job on the S65 yeah. engines, right? Yeah, it's, so the, It's basically a manufacturer fault. When they were built from factory, they had the tolerance were too small on the shelves. Because mm -hmm. it's such a thick oil, once, it gets, uh, once it's cold, the oil takes a long time to get in through to the shelves. Um, and people just don't let them warm up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be... The are small anyway, so it's kind of ideal to learn warmed up. It's just something that you want to do as a preventative. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what mine look like, because like, mine's only got like 46,000 miles on the clock. Okay. But I haven't exactly been kind to it. Yeah. So I'm looking, because like, I knew I was going to get this done before 50,000 anyway, yeah. and I just thought, right, we're at 46k, let's just do it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing if mine have any damage or if they haven't, and yeah. then at least I've got I mean, peace of mind as well. Yours is at LCR, right? 2013? Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. yeah. So this has got the uprated shells anyway. Okay, cool. Um, the older style shells had copper in them, uh -huh. um, and they were wore a lot quicker and a lot more yeah, than yeah, yeah. the newer ones do. So um, we'll upgrade, we've got all the new bearings and shells laid out anyway. So we change all the shells. The red ones are the bottom ones, and the blue ones are the top ones. New bolts as well. Again, genuine OE. These are the O-rings for the two oil lines I was saying about. Yep. Some people don't change them, I don't think, but we do anyway, because it's just, they're coming out anyway. So yeah, yeah. Two new sump bolts, new engine mounts. Wicked. Which again, some people don't do, but it's silly because, as you see on yours. These mine? Actually, these are yours. Yeah. Oh my God. It's actually broken. Holy shit. So, um, a lot of them, like the other one. crazy. It looks like someone just got it out of a knife. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Oh it's something God. that people don't believe in a lot. Uh, I don't know why, because it kind of proofs in the pudding. I didn't even, I'd have thought on a car without sounding disrespectful of this age, yeah. it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, yeah, like I mean, A lot of them are like this anyway. Again, this one's yeah, quite bad. It's, it's on its way to, to wearing. Wow, I can't but believe how bad that, they that are. That'll do that one yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, eventually. Um, that's like insane. That. Oh my God. So you weren't even coming for that? No. Like, and that would have been a fucking pain in the ass if yeah. you got it, if you got all this done. You're like, I've got to do that again. Because yeah. oh. some people have had them done before. It's like, I think it's about eighty quid for the two engine mounts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for the sake of another eighty quid, you might you've got this. Yeah, so there's a bit of shit under it now, Joe. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're normally quite stained where people don't do regular oil changes. So they can be like quite dark, like the pipes and all inside the galleries and stuff can be quite stained. Same with the oil pan. Um, but yours is quite, it's quite clean. So it's obviously been you hear that? Quite well clean. See, so you looked after. Good yeah, old whip. One of the cleaner, cleaner ones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to remember that when I resell this fucker. That thing's getting put in the main title. Yes, sir. Lunch break over. Where are we at on the whip? Filled up so halfway through the shells. Um, this is the third set I'm doing now. And then there's just these two left. Perfect. Tighten these ones up and then change them ones and we put it all back together again. Awesome, man. So, what are my old ones looking like? They're not actually too bad. Obviously, you can see wear on them, but that's kind of normal. Um, but in terms of the extent of wear, it's not. Not too bad. Incredibly worrying. There's no damage on the crank or anything like that. All the tolerances are right. So. Well, like you said, I had the LCI car, yeah, 13 so plate. So, but it's, this is all just for peace of mind. It's yeah. not a waste of money. This is a, yeah. no, a big, I mean, big job. So, like I said, the top ones are normally more worn than the bottom ones. Um, obviously, these are the top, those are the bottom. Mm -hmm. and that's purely because you've got the compression of the engine pushing mm -hmm. down on them, so they tend to make more contact. So yeah, that's, that's, they're not, they're not too bad. Like I said, the condition of the engine is good anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, cool, man. I'm excited to get it finished. My car is up on the ramp, Imram over here, is going to come and help me and uh, show me around his premises. So, uh, where do you want to Where do you want to start, sir? Um, Should we start with the Audi over here, this yeah, you beast over here that you've been? So, this has got built engine uh, by Tim Radley at Motorsport Development, I think the company's called. Um, so, it's going to be having a iROS Motorsport um, 850 kit, 
So it should be around 800, 850 horsepower. <laughs> it's so crazy. Um, and we've got Cyvex to go on as well. And you can see the headlight. Yeah, yeah, I saw that as well. Yeah, yeah. And you make all of this in house, yeah. right? Yeah, so that's that's, that's so cool. So you have two companies. Yeah, so, we've got, yeah, so we've got Evolve, uh, which is BMW tuning specialist. Um, that company's been around since 2007. And then Eventury, I started with Bilal, who's the designer of the Eventury kits, 2014. So yeah, we've got both of them in the same yeah. premises now. And just so just so people are aware, and I can, I literally chose to come to you. Like yeah. I, I could have gone anywhere, but I had been telling everyone my car was coming here from day dot really because yeah. like I trust you guys with it because you guys are specialists of these vehicles. So yeah. I just wanted to be as transparent why I bought it here. So then we've got the this is a customer's car, so right? That's a customer's car that was in for uh, intake development. Yep. And same with this. Um, if this is, I'll get the keys. We'll show you the intake. Yeah, yeah, cool. That'd be that'd be interesting. So let's have a quick look at the uh, M2 and see the cage and all that sort of stuff in there. So we've got the big ceramic brakes on it as well. Look at these. Damn. Around the front, you've got the carbon. Yeah, it's a carbon bonnet, so that's in GTS style. And we've left it part painted. Yeah. Very subtle because the car's grey, so. Love that. And then you've got a carbon roof and a knife. roof, which doesn't come with. I didn't know that. I did not know they didn't come with a carbon yeah. roof. So that's really cool. You've got yeah, the carbon wing mirrors on yeah. there as well. So there's probably only uh, four M2s in the UK now with, with carbon. We did this 2016. Yeah, so you were way ahead of so the game. We were, with I it. think we were the second or third M2 in the world. Our friends and I indeed did the first one. I think we did the first one in Europe. Cool. So awesome, car, man. That, I mean, that car was done 2016. So yeah. And what does like the number plate represent? Is that a family so member? That, as well? So that's um, so we like we you know the Americans give their cars names. Yep. So we started naming the cars. Oh, okay, okay. And my daughter named that car Starla. Oh, that's really cool. In a cartoon character. Okay. So I requested that number plate from DVLA. Okay. And I thought well, it's not going to go for a lot of money. But someone else was bidding for it afterwards oh, no. and realised it's actually a girl's name, so there are Oh women out okay. There named okay. So obviously someone was so I just bidding like, it up as well. Bidding it up and I was like I kept going and going and I thought, okay, if someone's willing to bid this much in an auction, which not many people know about, I'll be able to flip it afterwards. Yeah, 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 definitely. If I need to, so I just carried on going. Yeah, 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 of course. And then you've got this absolute machine here. Yeah, so this is our F ten M five. We've had this since 2018, so as soon as it came out. Um, so it's running around 800 horsepower now. 800 but, yeah, horsepower. Yeah, I mean, time, timing wise, on draggy, 0 to 62.49 seconds, quarter mile 10.01. Like at VMAX, I've gone over 200 miles an hour. That's so crazy, dude. Yeah. That's and it's, so and crazy. it's really comfortable. So crazy. Family dude. saloon, yeah. And it's absolutely gorgeous as well. I love the colour. It's like a, almost like a pearlescent grey. Yeah, it's Donington grey. It's yeah, amazing. it's really nice. And then behind us, we have this other. M3 that I've commented on already to yeah. you about the colour that I love. Yeah. Lamborghini colour, right? Yes, yeah, so that's Lamborghini Verde Mantis, so it's the same colour that you get on uh, Lamborghini Hurricanes. Yep. Um, Absolutely all I had awesome. a Porsche Signal Green one before, which got written off, and then this one replaced that one. Wow, man, it's just it's so nice. a few bits of carbon at the moment, but... Well, you've been out developing stuff with it today, so I can't yeah, really so blame you, like... Yeah, we've got a on it, and we've just been developing the map for that. So it's running around 625 horsepower at the moment. Right, oh, look at that. The carbon. God, the carbon you guys do is insane. Yeah, yeah. Carbon intakes, uh, carbon engine cover, and then we've, we've been the first people, I think, to do carbon fiber charge pipes. Man, that is so nice. Oh my goodness, and man. carbon GTS bonnet. So that's the OEM from the GTS and CS. Can we get that in focus up here? Wow, yeah, look at that. That's gorgeous, man. And then should we head back inside? And uh, oh, we've got Matt's, That's Matt's E3. purple e yeah. 46 over there, M3, very nice. So if we head back inside, you can show us that really special car, the red one. Oh, yeah. So I mentioned outside, you've got quite a, a car with a little story behind it. And yeah, so although we know, like, we're known for tuning the older BMWs, but we do a lot of the more modern ones now. We own them as demo cars. Uh, but our roots are basically in the E30 325i, uh, Z3 M Coupe and the E39 M5 has probably been the most successful model for us in terms of the products we've Love to hear it. And, and where they go. So this car we built for a customer over like a five year period and it literally had the best of everything on it. And he passed away um, about a year ago and his wife phoned us up and said, look, John's passed away. Um, do you know anyone that's interested in buying a car? I said, I don't, but she said, how much is it worth? I said, it's worth this much. And I put the phone down and I thought, hang on a minute. That's like the best E39 M5 
in in the country I've ever seen yeah. and we developed a lot of our parts on it so this customer actually paid us to develop the supercharger kit yeah that we sell to other customers and I spoke to my business partner and he said like yeah we have to buy it and it's the only car my wife's actually said when I told her about it because <laughs> you have to go and buy yeah car. yeah so I rang up uh, the lady done the deal went and picked up so do you want to pop up that bonnet and we can have a look at what you created for it and this is the in-house built Evolve supercharger kit, right? And what so, sort of power does the car now put so out? So this puts out 620 horsepower uh, with the Evolve manifolds and you, the full exhaust system. You said earlier you were going to find that extra one brake for me. Yeah, yeah, for you, so it's 621. <laughs> yeah. For you, it's Rotrex C3891. Yep. Uh, we've done a carbon fiber inlet tube and we reversed it so it's smoother on the inside so cool. it flows better. Love that. And this customer, his brief was that he wanted it to fit kind of like OEM and not touch any because some of the kits were like touching the mm -hmm. wheel arches and uh, he didn't want any of the front end cut up now if you want a front mount intercooler you, you have to cut end. up the bumper so our solution was to make a side mount intercooler which is down here oh wow yeah cool oh, this so, is so it feeds cool. in through here yeah and then we put vents on the wheel arch on the other side so then it's got airflow awesome. going through there Man, that's so and we cool. made a billet plenum yep because even though these cars have metal plenums they do break and while we were developing this car we broke two plenums and damaged the bonnet twice and had to buy two new bonnets and repaint them and mm -hmm. at that point we thought okay we need to go change bill it. yeah and yeah bill it. but that actually adds uh, power as well because it's flow optimized for force induction rather than na and it's also so, got some tasty little parts in it as well like the yeah, BBS's. So bbs lms um which everyone keeps asking me to sell <laughs> uh, and then it's got brembo brakes uh, built sign suspension and apart from that it's like pretty stock i don't like on this on this car although everything else has got carbon add-ons i don't i love this car as it is yeah i agree i think so i think it's apart fantastic from the wheels is, is stock it's beautiful the interior is like new as well so as a base car it unlocked it's, it's unlocked yeah as a base car it's actually really clean yeah it's just this is so cool this is the sort of car that in another 10, 15 years will fit right into a museum somewhere. Yeah. Like, that's the way I see it. Yeah, like, I mean, it's like, look at the paintwork. It's, it's just beautiful. absolutely flawless, the car. And you've got your Evolve exhaust on yeah, it as so well. Yeah, it's full Evolve exhaust with the manifold back and like the whole system. Yeah, that's stunning. And then we've got an NA one next to it so that is business, partners, business partners. Yeah. So this is a joint car. Because we, it's quite lucky, we both like the same cars. Yeah. So we can buy joint cars because there's no point like one person owning Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I agree, and this one is absolutely yeah, this gorgeous. One's NA. Awesome, man. And then behind the E63 is a lot of stock. Yeah. Should we go show them that yeah, real quick? So yeah. So that's the Eventuri. Eventuri side. Let's go show them that real quick. I'm just gonna... So this is our 3D print room, and this is where we print all our prototypes. So our process for designing uh, air intakes and now body kits, which we're just starting to get into, is to 3D scan the car, import all that data into CAD, design the parts. 3D print them, which will output something like this. So this is an intake duct for the new Mini. It allows us to actually put it on the car, dyno test it, performance test it, make sure it fits, and then we can basically have the parts made in carbon fiber. Perfect. So that's intake part, and that's a, a body part. So that, these are the fangs that go on the oh, yeah. ATM3. Cool. Awesome. I think what you guys are doing here is so cool, honestly. That's why I wanted to show it in a little bit more detail. Yeah, so we can show you the production. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Everyone, these guys start early, so they finish early. Yeah, yeah, of course. So they've gone home. Oh, no, George is still here. George Working is in the dark. In. Working Damn. in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this is a production area. So this is normally full, so each station has a person. But it's just like... They grab the carbon components on, from the shelves over there and then come and build the kits up. That's so cool. So cool, man. Very impressed. Mud up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, they look so good on that other M3. Wow, yeah, look at that. Cheers, George. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. So what do we have in here? Let's uh, let's show people what these are real quick because this is the main reason that I'm here today. Yeah, so that's what you're having changed over. So these are the rod bearings from an E9 to M3 with around, what well, it says, 62,000 miles. So you can see that they're worn through so the copper's showing. And when that happens, essentially, um, it's rubbing up against the crank. And if it gets too hot, it can weld itself to the crank. And that's what causes it to yeah. spin, which is then catastrophic. 
to an M3's engine. To an M3's engine. Mine, is, the mine is the 2013 LCI, so it's got the upgraded ones, I think, was it from Yeah, they changed the material. Yeah. So it doesn't have the copper, but they'll still wear. Still wear, it can yeah. Still, it can still happen. Yeah. So we, essentially, this is like, a, you know they have Inspection 1 and Inspection 2 service. We class this as, as an Inspection 3 service. Okay. And although this one's 60,000, they're quite worn, we've seen some that are less, that are more worn, mm -hmm. or as worn as this. So it's literally down to how the car's been been looked after. Looked after. Yeah. But my personal opinion is that I mean, every time I buy an E923, I do rub bearing straight away, regardless of the mileage. Mm -hmm. But then I would be happy then to keep that set of rub bearings in the car forever because I know that we've warmed the car up properly. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Driving it hard. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Should we go check out mine? That's stupid. Right, so here are mine. Yeah, so although, see, the other ones are copper, so they're showing through. So, mm -hmm. I mean, they're still showing quite wear. a bit of wear, as you can see. Yeah, that one especially. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very glad I've had them done. I've got much better peace of mind about the car now. And I think I'm, I think because of the money it costs to have the job done, I'm going to look after it a little bit better than I have yeah. been. <laughs> I mean, um, for the sake of £1,500 versus doing a Botman rebuild, it's yeah. a no-brainer really. And as I said, we class it as an inspection to yeah, yeah. service. But so. also, we found this on mine. Yeah, they always go engine, oh. engine mounts. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that was a thing on M3s. Yeah, so, so, we uh, include the, so we don't even give them the choice. We include the engine mounts as part as of part, the, Oh, sorry, I've got you way yeah. zoomed in there, sorry. So there we go. So that's all included, the yeah. engine mounts as part of the, the job, yeah. yeah. That's wicked, man. I really, really like what you guys have got going on here. It's cool, uh, super cool, man. I've, re I've had a great day just hanging out. We've been here a long time, but I'm not yeah, bored. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, cool. We'll wait until the car's finished and see how she, uh, see how she does. something and they, they've obviously realized how to sell me stuff is just to show me it working and uh, <laughs> Matt's now going to show me this uh, rather expensive but absolutely beautiful intake and carbon plenum kit for the V8 in the M3. I'm ready. God, stop it. So we have everything back together under here. How, how was it as a job? Was it okay? It's all right, I'm used to it now. I've done so many of them. But and you said mine was an excellent example. An excellent example. Excellent car. We've got the, uh, we've got the, are they, what, what, decap pipes, right? That's what they yeah, we, generically we are. Primary cat delete or test pipe or um, I think Americans call them test pipes. We call them primary cat delete. Um, it's essentially just a decap. So they're now in. Very exciting because I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realise this was part of the stage two pack okay. when you guys said that. I was just like, yeah, cool, do whatever you need to do. Like, yeah. chilled, and I didn't realise. So this is super cool, really excited. Have you heard it yet? I heard it, well, I, I think the whole freaking estate heard it, mate. <laughs> it sounds insane, and I cannot wait, cannot wait to let you guys hear this. Hopefully it'll come across on the camera, because, man, I'm absolutely buzzing. Like, I'm so glad we're finally doing something to my, my favourite car. Like, I really am. So, yeah, I'm excited. Then they keep trying to sell me stuff, Matt, stop. But yeah, we'll see how far we take it, but I'm, I'm loving it so far. Now you'll notice that it's very quiet now because what did that map take out when you said... Uh, uh, so we got rid of the cold start delete. Yep. 
So the cold start, uh, the cold start is purely there to warm the cats up, mm -hmm. like the primary cats, for the emissions. So we delete the cold start so that when you like, first start the car, it's not quiet. It now means I can warm up my car properly before I take it out without annoying my neighbours, which I'm very grateful for. What else did the map do? So we done. We basically went for all the options. So we've done the cold start delete, the top speed removal, so it allows you to go over 155. Minutes. Not that I'm ever going to do you know, yeah, never. We will never do that, will we? The RPM increase, which takes it from 8 to 50 to 8,500. Okay, so brilliant. A little bit more. A little bit extra. If you do want to use it. Even more like a Honda now, good car. <laughs> no VTEC though. No VTEC. <laughs> and, um, and the Servotronic, which is in the steering. Cool. So that is, if you're going low speed for parking, it's really light. And then when you're going, I think it's over like 15 mile an hour, it's a lot more... Okay, cool. It's a lot fit, more fit. Epic. You can set it in like the M mode and stuff, if you need something. Wicked. Well, I cannot wait to drive it. I'll let you get it out of here, man. Yeah, cool. Yeah, man. cool. <laughs> just left the Volvo Automotive and this is my first drive in my freshly remapped car. It's up to temps. It has been for a little while. But well, we're heading into a 60 anyway. So uh Be now. lively it feels faster obviously when we're just throwing a bunch more ponies through the engine the exhaust sounds just sexual it sounds amazing doesn't it man like it's fucking crazy so over the moon and i can't thank evolve enough for having us down there for the day they've been absolute superstars i've really enjoyed my whole day down there and uh, we'll be back for many more visits i think really looking forward to getting back up there to do videos of the cars so uh hopefully i'll bring you them soon Right, we're out. Peace.